After yesterday's announcement provided by Christine Lagarde, the European currencies have no reasons to rise. However, the US unemployment claims data also disappointed investors. That's why the market got stuck ahead of the US inflation report that is slated for release later today. At the same time, Germany published its final data on consumer prices for August. On a yearly basis, the indicator showed a zero rise. On a monthly basis, consumer prices dropped by 0.1%. In other words, Europe has entered deflation, whereas US consumer prices are expected to advance. Thus, analysts suppose that the ECB will have to remain its monetary policy unchanged and expand stimulus measures while the Fed may consider a higher key interest rate. The US dollar climbed amid such years. Moreover, if the forecast come true, the greenback will continue gaining in value. As expected, the euro dollar pair showed active dynamic due to the latest news. The quote jumped to the level of 1.1910 and then returned to 1.1810. On the chart, we can see that during the United States and Asian trading sales, the price moved from the level of 1.1810. Beers still control the market. However, the current ambiguity could influence speculators' positions. This, in turn, may cause local jumps that the stagnation point. If the price fixes below 1.18, it may drop deeper to 1.1755 and 1.1700. The US dollar also advanced against the British pound. The fact is that today the UK revealed its GDP data that showed a slump of 7.6% on a quarterly basis. The figures are well below the forecast. However, the press release reads that there are signs of recovery in most economic sectors. However, the Brexit issue is strongly winding on the pound sterling, making investors avoid buying it. Yesterday, the pound-dollar pair was hovering around the level of 1.30. After that, it resumed falling, easily broke the level of 1.2885 and approached the area of 1.2770. Since early September, the pound sterling has lost approximately 5%. However, amid its surge by 18% in March, the current drop is quite acceptable. However, if the price fixes below 1.2770, it may significantly affect the structure of the midterm uptrend. Moreover, if the current pressure becomes higher, the pair may tumble to the level of 1.2620. According to the alternative scenario, the pound-dollar pair may slow down between the levels of 1.2770 and 2885. That's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and keep abreast on latest events with us. See you in a couple of hours on our channel with a new video.